And last week's violence has created another debate when it comes to gun control. And this is a real hot button issue right here in Florida. As a matter of fact, the Sunshine State is about to become the first state in the nation with more than 1 million concealed weapons permits. Currently, about 950,000 Floridians have permits. And the Agricultural Commissioner, Adam Putnam, says his office issues about 10 to 15,000 permits a month. So, question for a lot of people, is it too easy to get a gun here in Florida? Joining us now on our power panel is uh, Representative Rich Workman. Rich, good to see you. Thanks good for coming in. Thanks, and Jason Henry from the Orange County Young Democrats. Jason, good to see you. Thanks, Thank guys. You. Thank you. All right, you know, let's start off with that topic first of all. One million concealed weapons permits soon here in Florida. Mm -hmm. Is it too easy to get a gun? Do too many people have guns in the state of Florida? Jason, well, I won't say that you. too many people have guns, but it may be a little bit too easy to get a gun. Uh, if you go to a gun show, you don't have to go through a background check. I think we need to tighten those restrictions. Uh, but as far as the Second Amendment right of uh, Floridians and Americans, uh, I, I fully support that right, and I fully support the Second Amendment, uh, but we do need to look at tightening the restrictions on how you can purchase a gun. State Representative? Uh, uh, no, it's not too easy, and no, you don't need to look at re uh, tightening restrictions. Um, those guns that were purchased legally in Colorado did not kill those people. That jerk that's complaining about a stomach hurting, he killed those people. Um, and uh, you have a constitutional right here, and I tell you, the last thing we want is the government to have all the guns. So how do we make sure that somebody like this, who you called a jerk, who probably has some sort of mental illness, how how do we make sure that something like this doesn't happen again, or is there a way? You know, where the debate should be focused is that theater uh, had a strict no-gun policy, right? In, the, in, this, in this state, if 20% of the people, if you knew 20% of the people in that theater had a gun, do you go in that gun blasting? Um, I carry a concealed weapon everywhere I go because I want to protect my family where I go. And I will tell you that um, if that man came into my theater, um, he'd get a few shots off and then he would, he would be resting in peace. You know, Jason, back to your, uh, the point you made here, you support the Second Amendment, you say. Sure, sure. Some people say, though, that if the government starts cracking down and restricting certain guns, that's a slippery slope. Mm -hmm. Is there any val validity to that argument? Well, if, if we're talking about an assault rifle ban, then I think there is. I mean, there was an assault rifle ban for 10 years, but there was a sunset clause on that back in uh, 2000. 2004. But I actually do agree with Mr. Workman uh, as far as what, what can we do um, to, to stop these type of tragedies from happening. It wasn't the gun. I mean, it was the gun that killed those individuals, but it was a stupid person, as he said, that uh, went into the theater and, and, and shot it up. But in regards to tightening those restrictions, the NRA actually, or some of their members, actually are in support of uh, tightening the restrictions on gun laws, whether it, it's going to a gun show and attempting to purchase a gun, going through a background check, having uh, employees of gun shops actually uh, go through a background check to make sure that they are felons who are selling those guns. Those are the only restrictions we're talking about. We're not talking about taking guns away from regular Americans. I think assault rifles are the big deal right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, President Obama recently spoke out about the assault weapons. Here's what he had to say. Listen to this, guys. I, like most Americans, believe that the Second Amendment guarantees an individual the right to bear arms. I think we recognize the traditions of gun ownership that passed on from generation to generation, that hunting and shooting are part of a, a, a cherished national heritage. But I also believe that a lot of gun owners would agree that AK-47s belong in the hands of soldiers, not in the hands of criminals. Got a big applause there. Now, Representative Workman, that's the big issue. A lot of people say, why does somebody, even a hunter in this case, need an assault rifle or a weapon like this? What do you have to say about that? Well, first, I'd, I would challenge uh, President Obama to come try to take my AR-15 from me. Um, assault rifles don't kill people any more than the guns that that idiot bought. But that, do you really need a gun of that caliber? Sure, why not? I, I, I like to target shoot, and I, I like to do it at 300 meters, and a uh, 45 is not going to do that for me. I have that right. I also have the right to defend my property. And if the only people that have uh, assault rifles uh, want to take my property from me, um, whether they're criminals or whether it's a, a, a military coup, I lose every time. But I have the right to defend myself. And look, I, I don't believe in automatic rifles, uh, he said AK-47s, um, that's, they're not legal now. But my AR-15 is, is semi-auto, I have to pull the trigger each time. I don't, remember, a government that can give you everything can take everything away. And if you are unarmed, you are the, you're a victim of a fascist government, and we don't want to go that path. And I think a well-armed militia, a well-armed citizenship, is the best defense against a hostile takeover of a government. And Jason, I assume mm -hmm. you, you agree with the president with what he had to say. The I argument do. on that side, I guess, is you know, if they do take these type of guns away from law-abiding citizens, mm -hmm. the criminals are still going to have that. Sure, sure. Well, I mean, um, there, there's, there's so much that goes into this argument, whether we're talking about automatic assault rifles or just uh, 
nobody's talking about taking guns away from regular Americans. We, we support the Second Amendment, and uh, that's not the issue. The issue is that some of the laws that we have as far as the individuals who are purchasing these guns, these are the ones that we're looking at, not necessarily taking away a person's right to, to carry a concealed weapon, taking away a person's right to defend themselves. Uh, but this isn't, I won't say this is a government issue. This is being politicized right now because of what happened in Colorado. Uh, but this isn't a, a militia issue, a police issue, or necessarily a, a, a government issue. This is simply an issue of Americans wanting to protect themselves. And I am fully for that, but I want to be sure that we have good law-abiding citizens who are purchasing those weapons. As far as the Second Amendment goes, as far as the NRA goes, we have that right in place. No one is trying to take that right away. All right, guys, thanks so much for your time. That Make discussion time. will continue sure. there on Facebook. State Representative Rich Workman, always good to see you. Jason Henry from the uh, Orange County Young Democrats. Appreciate you guys. Yes, sir. Thanks a lot. Thank All you. right, 729, we'll be right back here on Good Day.